Hello everybody and welcome to another MPI for Pi programming tutorial video for parallel programming, high performance computing, and supercomputing. In this video what we're going to be discussing is broadcast. So the idea of broadcast is so you just have to enter at one time and the object, variable, whatever is broadcast to all of the nodes. So here's a quick example of how that works. As usual from MPI for Pi we're going to import MPI com equals mpi.com mpi.com underscore world we're going to be using rank as well so rank equals com dot rank now pretty simple if rank equals zero so this is the master node we're going to say data equals and we're going to use the alphabet here we're going to say a and that corresponds to the first letter b corresponds to the second letter and C corresponds to the third letter. So that's our data. It's just a dictionary of A, B, C, and what number they, rec or they rank in the alphabet. Now what we're going to say, so if, if for the master node we specify, hey, this is the data, else data equals none for now. So if you wanted to have some of the nodes maybe change their mind on what data is, you could, but for now we're going to say data equals none on all of the other nodes. And then what we're going to say is data equals uh, com.bcast, so bcast for broadcast. And it's going to be data root equals zero. So where are we getting this from? It's going to be zero. And now what we want to say is print rank, and then just hit out the rank. And then we're just going to, after rank, we'll spit out that data. So uh, let's go ahead and save that, and I'm going to move it over to the pies now, and head over here, up arrow, and SCT8, and number of processors is 5 in the last video, it only spit out two things just because we only specified things for two things. Uh, um, but just now, like at least for us, we have five. So if you don't have five there, your results might look different uh, than mine. But anyways, hit enter, SCT8. Uh, let's see what we get. Sure enough, we get the output rank 0, 4, 1, 3, 2. And they all have the exact same uh, data here. Thank you to broadcast. So you don't have to type it in all, like over and over and over and over. Again, it just adds one more layer of dynamics. Plus, broadcast is really useful for things like um, probably the most real-world example that most people have heard of would be something like Bitcoin, where the you know current stat or status of the entire network is broadcast. If uh, if a node um, solves a block, let's say it's going to broadcast it to all the other nodes and all of that. So um, you can do a lot of neat things um, with broadcast. Uh, but uh, obviously this was just a pretty basic example of what you can do with broadcast. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching.